Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. When you think of the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, many will think of the legendary members of the Steel Curtain from the 70s dynasty for the black and gold, on and off the field. In total, 13 players, coaches, and front office executives from that dynasty are enshrined in the hallowed halls of Canton's Hall of Fame. All are certainly deserving. There's one name missing from that group, though. One that was one of the best ever from his era at his position, and one of the most important to the Steelers' success in the 70s. Yes, I'm talking about defensive end L.C. Greenwood. Since 2006, Greenwood hasn't even gotten a sniff at the Hall of Fame since being named a finalist in back-to-back years in 2005 and 2006. The latest slight against the former Steelers star came on Thursday, when Greenwood wasn't even one of the 25 senior players named as a finalist for the Senior Committee's Class of 2023. Greenwood ranks second all-time in sacks in franchise history with 78, half a sack more than Hall of Famer Mean Joe Green and is the only player in NFL history with more than three sacks in a single Super Bowl. He sacked Dallas Cowboys star quarterback Roger Staubach four times in Super Bowl X. Four times! Twice in his career, Greenwood recorded 11 sacks in a single season. In total, he led the Steelers six times in sacks from 1971 to 1981 as a 10-year starter, as a former 10th round pick. He earned two first-team All-Pro accolades and six trips to the Pro Bowl in the black and gold. Not to mention being named All-AFC, a big deal back then, five times in his career. According to Pro Football Reference's Hall of Fame monitor, which is a metric designed to estimate a player's chances of making the Pro Football Hall of Fame using approximate value, Pro Bowls, All-Pros, championships, and various stat milestones, Greenwood is the 16th ranked defensive end of all time. Of all time. He slots ahead of six other Hall of Fame defensive ends. Yes, you heard that correctly. Six other Hall of Fame defensive ends with his Hall of Fame monitor score of 82.10. Of course, Greenwood's stats came at a time when sacks weren't an official statistic. Still, thanks to some great work from Pro Football Reference, we're able to know how many sacks Greenwood had in his career. I understand there's a bit of Steelers fatigue when it comes to the Hall of Fame, at least from the committee that selects the players. But keeping a guy of Greenwood's stature and accolades out of the Hall of Fame to this point is an absolute travesty. Mean Joe Green, Jack Lambert, and Mel Blount seriously got the headlines and the notoriety back then. But without Greenwood, the famed Steel Curtain isn't as stout as it was. The members of the Hall of Fame committee noted historians of the game or so they say, should know this. Here's the thing. If New England Patriots star Richard Seymour can get in with less stats and less Super Bowls, but one more All-Pro and one more Pro Bowl trip, Greenwood should be a shoe-in, at least for the Veterans Committee. It's time for the Pro Football Hall of Fame to right this wrong. It's been far too long already. Hollywood Bags Greenwood is and always will be a Hall of Famer. Send them home. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.